Hi guys and welcome back to the Bash Scripting Basic to Advanced course. In this video you are going to learn about command line arguments. So in the previous video we learned how we can read user inputs from the command line. So let's go ahead and see what is this command line arguments are. So those are additional inputs that can be passed to a program when the program is run from a command line interface. These arguments are specified after the name of the program and they can be used to modify the behavior of the program, provide input data or provide output locations. Command line arguments are used to pass argument to a shell script. For example, currently I have this my underscore script dot sh. Let's say I need to send two values. First one will be a name and the second one is a age. So I can go ahead and say bash and the bash script file name. For example, my underscore uh, script dot sh. If you are not preferring this way, you can just say dot forward slash which means the current directory and then say my underscore script. You can do uh, this way or the previous one. Then right after the file name, after a space, you're going to start to type arguments. For example, argument one and argument two and so on. In my case, I need to send a name. I am going to say a chain and uh, let's say there is a space for this name. So to specify a space I can say uh, backslash space Ishanka. So this will be a just one argument okay because we specified there is a space by saying this backslash. Now to send the second argument we have to insert a e space then the value as 23 the age okay. Now it will be sent to the bash script. I'm going to execute this. Okay now uh, I got something printed that because uh, in my batch script I am identifying how many arguments that we send through the command line. Now let me go ahead and show you the my underscore script dot sh my underscore script okay now uh, here I am acquiring a script name dollar zero that means it will print the script name itself. Let me go ahead and close this for a while. Here we got this printed script name dot forward slash and the uh, file name with the extension. And lastly this two is printed which is the count of these two arguments separated by this space. If we explicitly say this backslash and then a space it will be a space for that text for that argument that means it is not going to separate these two names as different arguments instead it will be a just argument okay ashen is space ashank one argument and the next argument is 23 now that's fine let me open my my script.sh using the vim editor by saying vim and the script name. Now as I told you by saying this dollar zero we can extract the script name then uh, here including meta characters in double quotes means meta characters has ability to perform its own job. So uh, that is fine. Currently we are in the command board that means we cannot type anything. We have go to the insert mode. To go to the insert mode press I letter in the keyboard. 
we know we can edit. Before I'm going to clear this, if you use this dollar symbol and the pound symbol, you will be able to check how many arguments was provided to this bash script. If you remember, uh, previously the number 2 was printed. That because there was two arguments we provided, the name and the age. Okay. So that's how it works if you use dollar symbol and the pound symbol. Now let me go ahead and uh, delete that. Instead, let's say I need to access the first argument was provided. Now uh, we are not conditionally check whether arguments was provided or not. So if you are not providing any arguments, it will end up with an error. So I know I am going to provide the argument there. So I am going to just directly access it. I am going to echo the name. The name is. So I need to pass the argument to this string in the double quotes. So I can say dollar and then one. So it will access the first argument. If we use zero there, it will access the script name itself. Now in double quotes, you can use these meta characters. So it will have its own abilities to perform. But if you say just single quotes, the literal string will be printed. That means the name is dollar one. But if you say double quotes, the name is some argument will be printed. Okay. Now the next line will be I'm going to say ages and the next argument can be accessed by saying dollar two. Okay. Now we need to save this file. To save this we can press escape button in the keyboard and then type colon wq then exclamation symbol. Okay. Now press enter. Now I'm going to say bash and the script name my underscore script dot sh and the arguments firstly I can say ashain then let's say I had to include the space so I will say backslash space now I mentioned that there should be a space Next argument will be the last argument to entity the H. Now I'm going to press enter. The name is Asha Nishang is printed and the next argument which is the age is to entity is printed. Okay. Lastly, if I say the name using these double quotes Ashin is space Ishanka. And the next argument will be separated by the space and the a dash 23. Now we can do the same thing without using this backslash and space to mention there should be a space. Now this is uh, more readable than this one. So feel free to use whatever you want. Okay. I hope this video helps. If this video helps, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.